dark skies. John Loengard, Congressional Investigator. My new title was a great Christmas present. Unfortunately, the reality was something else. Flying saucer evidence could largely be explained away as either low-flying planes or faked photos. Most of the witnesses I interviewed were simply crazy people craving attention. Then I met Betty and Barney Hill. Mrs. Hill? Yes. Hi, I'm John Loengard. I just came from Peace Air Force Base and... No, please, I really wish you people would leave us alone. No, Mrs. Hill, I don't work with the Air Force. Remember, we talked over the phone. I'm with Congressman Charles Pratt's office. Oh, oh, yes. Look, if you feel like talking, uh, my girlfriend baked this fruitcake for us. Uh. Is there a problem here? Oh, no, sir. I was just telling your wife here that there's some new information about the sighting you reported. If all of this is true, then why do you need a cake to talk your way in here? Well, sir, uh, that's a good point. Probably was a pretty dumb idea. Look, I'll be honest with you. I was sent out to prove that the Air Force investigation is a waste of money. But right now, let's just say I've got an open mind. And the truth is, this is a damn good cake. We were returning from a vacation in Canada, down US-3, through the White Mountains to Portsmouth. It was after midnight, pretty close to a full moon. There weren't many cars, and any place to stay was already closed. I saw it first. It looked like a big light that was following us. And then when I looked through the binoculars, I saw a, a double row of windows, real windows. I thought she was crazy, but <laughs> she made me stop the car anyway. I went out into a field with the binoculars. When I looked through those windows I saw. I saw about a half dozen living beings looking back at me. You mean people? I mean living beings. Well, what did you do then? I panicked. I thought I was going to be captured, so I ran as fast as I could back to the car. Were you actually captured? We don't know what happened. The next thing we know, we're back in our car, but it's two hours later. Wait till the congressman hears this. I don't see how he can ignore this. Well, I think he should do one of those congressional investigations. That's what I think he should do. I, I, I don't know about that. You see, you'd probably have to testify, and well, people might say things. I'm a black man married to a white woman. People already say things. If I can find out what the hell it is I saw, and where I was, I would tell my story to the whole damn world.